Time for us to take a look at some of our news for this Thursday morning. It is December 8th, 2016. First and foremost today, there has been an earthquake in Indonesia. Nearly 100 people dead. Obviously, a lot of fears about tsunamis. No word on whether there was a tsunami or whether even a warning was issued. But once again, almost 100 people confirmed dead in an earthquake in Indonesia on Wednesday. Donald Trump has been named Time Magazine's Person of the Year. Of course, it has always been, for better or for worse, the person that they believe has most influenced the world in terms of media and news coverage and whatnot. And so he is the Person of the Year as far as his domination of the media over the last year. In light of Trump's comments on Twitter about canceling the order for Boeing to make more presidential airplanes, Boeing has immediately come right back out and said, hey, we'll work with you. It has actually sh sent shockwaves through the entire military-industrial complex because there was a lot of rejoicing that Trump won because he had promised to rebuild the military and expand and whatnot, and now they see that they could just as easily be a target for cuts as they could for contracts. There's been another plane crash in Pakistan, this one killing 48 people, including a pop star, and therefore, of course, it's getting more focus because it, somebody famous was on board the flight. No survivors. It was one of those small planes and no reason why it went down. The witnesses said it just seemed to drop out of the air. The pilot had made some sort of distress call about engine failure. So at this point, it doesn't appear to be terrorism. The drug company Milan has actually come under more fire because of the, uh, the, the raising the prices of EpiPens. Uh, now they're re announced a restructuring. They're going to be doing a whole bunch of layoffs. The state of Ohio has passed a law that would ban abortions once a heartbeat is detected. As the so-called heartbeat bill is now moved on to the governor, I think it's Kasich. If he signs it, it'll become law, and already the abortion proponents are saying it effectively bans abortion before a woman even knows she's pregnant. In the Charleston shooting trial, Dylan Roof has now been officially accused of being a cold, calculated killer. He planned for months and went in there and executed the people at the church service with a very cruel, cold calculation, that according to the prosecutors in the trial, which is ongoing. In Iraq, the Mideast crisis continues as more fighting. Uh, and, and once again, uh, in this particular case, now it looks like uh, the entire neighborhoods are being destroyed. The bombing runs that are being con conducted by the Iraqi Air Force indiscriminately killing women and children. I think in the last count there were some 60 people dead, eight of them militants, the rest were civilians. In Moscow, their foreign minister is slamming the Polish foreign minister's remarks about a meeting between NATO and Russia. Poland saying, hey, it could happen any time, it's imminent. Russia saying, hang on a second, they're not supposed to have a meeting without consulting with us first, what are you saying? And once again, these comments that, that different sides are making based on trying to make their own position seem more strong as opposed to the actual position that they're in. In Paris, they've banned cars in the city for the second day in a row. This is only, I believe, like the second time in the last 10 years and the first time ever that they've banned cars in the city for two days in a row. The pollution is absolutely choking the city out. You can't even see the Eiffel Tower in some cases. A U.S. judge has heard arguments on continuing or discontinuing the presidential recount in Michigan. It looks like uh, Jill Stein's case is still moving forward in Pennsylvania. However, in other cases, remember there's three different states that she's trying to do that recount in. She's been joined by the Clinton campaign. It's a long shot, even if the recounts move forward, that it's somehow going to change the result. The military has now targeted the handling of misconduct cases. Apparently, the process itself takes really, really long, and they conti we continue to pay six-figure salaries to the investigators who are only at a mid-level position. So now they're saying they will have a task force assembled by the end of the year to study the issue. Speaking of military, in Japan, a resurgent Japan Japanese military apparently can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with anyone in the world, according to the latest experts' analysis of where their military sits right now. And they say that part of the reason for it may just be the fact that they have had to focus on defensive only, according to their constitution that was imposed by the United States after World War II. Latest on the contender for Secretary of State, it looks like Mitt Romney is at the top of the list. 
General Petraeus apparently is out. And the other one who's still on the short list is former New York Mayor Rudy Giuliani. However, right now it looks like Romney is the top position for becoming the new Secretary of State. Also, the hospital industry has warned that if the Obamacare gets repealed, like they're talking about, that it's going to cause a whole bunch of financial woes for the hospital industry, especially if they get hit with cases of people who are uninsured. And lastly, Trump making headlines again by complaining about Saturday Night Live and their portrayal of him by Alec Baldwin saying that there's nothing funny about it, that it's, quote, a terrible show. That's what we've got on the national scene today. If you scroll on down, you can see a a look at some of our Alaska headlines. And today's commentary is going to be about something that happened in Alaska News in terms of a councilwoman in Anchorage making comments about the Muslim religion that has Muslims in Anchorage in fear. We'll talk about that. And I'd like to know what you'd like me to talk about. Send me an email, steve at radiofreespeech.com. You can become a sponsor or a subscriber through different links that I have there, including my Patreon link at radiofreespeech.com. Check it out and tell all your friends, and we'll have something more for you tomorrow again on the news and comments.